Welcome everyone, uh, my name's Susie and I'm here with Sharon and we're really looking forward to our Ash Wednesday service in a few days time. Sharon, what one thing do we need for our Ash Wednesday service? Well, I think that would be some ash, Susie. It is. I don't have any ash lying around my house. It's not the kind of thing that we keep. So I thought we would make some ash. Sharon, are you up for making your own ash? I am, Susie, yes. Now, we welcome you to do this. However, you will need some support from mums or dads, grandparents, somebody who's a responsible adult. Um, and we're going to show you how to make your own ash ready for our service on Wednesday. First, you'll need to get ready a safe environment to make the ash. So I have a trivet, which is fireproof, hot. And then I have a special bowl to put on top of that. This is to make sure that when we burn the ash, it won't go anywhere dangerous. And then I have a, a tin foil container like from a takeaway that we can burn in and it doesn't matter. So all those go down. Sharon, what do we need then to make the ash out of? Well, I think that will be our palm crosses from last year if we've got them. It is. So I wonder if you can root around your house and find an old palm cross, which we're gonna burn in our tray that's safe on our heat proof base. Now, what you might like to do first is to dry out your palm crosses and to do this, um, we've put ours in the microwave for one minute. Then put it inside the tray. And at this point, you'll need someone sensible and older to help you with your matches, or you're probably better to use one of those um, lighters that you can do it from a long distance with. You light it. We've got ours here. And then we just burn a little bit. Sharon, when you burnt yours, did you find it burnt really quickly? No, it was really burning very slowly. So I had to keep lighting the match and, and, and keep putting the match against it. But eventually it did burn a little bit. Now, here I have, I've got just burnt a tiny little bit from my palm cross, but inside the tray, there's a little bit of ash already. Sharon, you've got some ash in your tray, haven't you? I have, yes, I did some earlier, so I've got a little bit there too. Fantastic. You don't need very much. You don't need to burn the whole palm cross. In fact, you just probably need to do it, burn a tiny little bit, just like we've done. When you finish burning, leave everything and watch it to make sure it goes out properly and then it's cold before you do anything else. And then the last thing you'll need is to get a little tiny bit of oil. If you don't have any oil, a little bit of water and just put a tiny droplet in so that the ash, you can swirl it around with your finger. Just a tiny, tiny drop. There we are. Swirl it around so that on Wednesday, it's all ready for us to use. Don't know about you, Sharon, but I'm looking forward to our service. Me too. See you then. Bye.